From the students of Penn State Meteorology, here is your Penn State Campus Weather Service forecast. Hello, I'm student meteorologist Nick Johnson from the Penn State Campus Weather Service, and I'll be going through your seven-day forecast for the State College and the Pennsylvania areas. So if you take a look at what we're seeing over Beaver Stadium right now, we have some mostly clear skies um, across the area. And right now in State College, we have a temperature of 72 degrees with a feels like temperature of 72 degrees, dew point of 46 degrees, so it's pretty dry out there, visibility of 10 miles, and then winds are calm. And then for our weather headlines for the remainder of this week, heading into the weekend, and then uh, also into next week, we're going to be having some above average temperatures throughout the, the past several days and then continuing into, into today as well. And then for tomorrow, it's going to be some rain and thunderstorms, and then that'll be continuing a little bit into Sunday as well. And then heading into next week, it'll be just generally a little bit cooler to start next week, uh, to start the next work week. And then our temperatures across central Pennsylvania are fairly similar, actually. They're pretty much all in the mid-70s right now, uh, at around 1145 a.m. right now. And then if we zoom out to see the entire state, we can see that generally this trend will continue. Um, with the exception of being Erie, is a little bit colder as we have that air coming in from uh, off the lake is cooling it down a little bit. But generally just, you know, uh, in the mid and high 70s, and then also uh, Allentown's up in the low 80s already, and it's not even uh, in the and it's not even the afternoon yet. And then if we zoom out to see the entire country, we can see that we have this gradient here in the central portions of the country, which places east of it um, are generally in the 60s and greater, um, and then places west of it here, uh, as you can see, the gradient uh, are generally more so in the 40s and the 30s. So we have that pretty uh, significant gradient in the center of the country, which is giving. Um, places east of it, some pretty warm conditions, and west are pretty cold. And then if, if we take a look at our satellite data for this morning, you're going to see we have some partly cloudy skies coming in from the southwest here, but generally just clear skies across the entire state for this morning. And then if we move uh, further out, we can see the, the entirety of this system coming in from the southwest, which is giving some of, our, from some of the states to our south some precipitation throughout the morning today. And we're going to be seeing that precipitation heading into tomorrow and then also maybe a little bit in the evening as well tonight. And then if we move forward in time, we're going to see some partly cloudy skies, but it's going to be a little bit intensifying in terms of cloud coverage heading into the evening, some mostly cloudy skies. And temperatures are going to be dipping a little bit from the extreme high temperatures that we're going to be seeing throughout the day today. And then heading into tomorrow, a few isolated cells of precipitation, some rainfall across the state. Um, but then as we get further into the, in the afternoons when we're going to start to see that rainfall intensify and we're going to be seeing some, some, pretty, um, th some pretty thin bands of precipitation, but it's going to be pretty consistent throughout the day uh, tomorrow in, in State College. And then if we move forward in time into uh, overnight Saturday into Sunday, you're going to see it's going to be, cl uh, it'll be clearing out a little bit overnight into Sunday. But then by the time we get overnight, uh, by the time we get into the evening, Sunday into Monday, we're going to start to see that the, those clouds return to the area and it's going to be overcast. Um, and then we're going to have some uh, even, even more intense precipitation heading into the start of the next week. And it's going to be get, bringing with us um, some pretty cool conditions coming in, um, which is going to be giving us a, a cooler start to next week. And then for today in State College, we have a high temperature of 84 degrees with generally warm and sunny conditions. And then winds are coming from the south around 3 to 6 miles per hour, which is bringing in that warm air. And then for tonight in State College, we have a low temperature of 59 degrees with a little bit of late showers in the late in the evening and then overnight in, into tomorrow. And then winds are coming from the south around 3 to 6, three to six miles per hour, just consistent throughout the day, so winds from the south. And then for our blue-white game tomorrow, um, tailgates are going to be pretty warm and humid with some mostly cloudy skies, a temperature of 67 degrees. And then unfortunately kickoff is it's when we're going to start to see those showers begin, maybe, maybe a little bit earlier than kickoff, and some thunderstorms as well with, with a temperature of 74 degrees. And then fourth quarter is when we're going to be having some consistent rainfall throughout the, um, throughout the majority of the game and then the second half of the game, and a temperature of 69 degrees uh, as we get further in, later into the game and into the fourth quarter. And then for our seven-day forecast from there, um, Sunday is going to be having some afternoon showers and some storms generally with a high of 76 and a low of 53 heading into Monday. Uh, showers and cooler conditions generally with a high of 59 and a low of 37. And then Tuesday is really gonna, where we're really going to start to see those temperatures drop a little bit, uh, getting below 50 for this time of year, which is pretty surprising, um, and a high temperature of 49 and a low of 35. And then Wednesday is going to be, uh, we're going to start seeing that warmth return a little bit more, 
with a high of 64 and a low of 39 in the, in the evening. So it's going to be still pretty cold in the evening, even though it's starting to warm up. And then Thursday, sunny and warm, pretty similar to today. Maybe not quite as warm, but it's going to be clear skies and it's going to be another beautiful day on Thursday. From the Penn State Campus Weather Service, I'm student meteorologist Nick Johnson. Thanks for listening. Have a great rest of your day and have a great weekend.